Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Divine Thought, and this is Who Day Vision. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here to tell you what it is, what it ain't, and what it look like. As you can tell by the screen, I'm breaking down Tyler Shelvin. This is our second fourth round draft pick, and this was part of the trade. This was part of that trade package we got from the New England Patriots for trading down to get um, our second round pick, Carmen Jackson, or Jackson Carmen. Ugh. All right, so what it is, Tyler Shelvin is a big man. Standing at 6'3", 6'2", 350 pounds, the man is a beast up the middle, man. I mean, <laughs> he is a large human being. He is hard to move. And you see that in the in the film. He has good short area quick short area quickness. I mean, for a man his size, he kind of reminds me of Sam Adams. Gilbert Brown, somewhere in that area. He's not as tall as Sam Adams, but he's he's quick like Sam Adams. Gilbert Brown used to play for the Green Bay Packers. Another, you know, he had some quickness, but he I, I think Shelvin is a little more mobile than Gilbert Brown. That's kind of why I would say Sam Adams. But the man can hold up and anchor against two blockers. I mean, a guy that we drafted this year um, out of Georgia, Georgia, Trey Hill, he is a big man. He's 330 pounds. He's stout. He's strong at the point of attack. And he could not handle Tyler Shelvin. <laughs> Tyler Shelvin is a huge man. And before he opted out last season, I mean, he was talked about being a, a day two draft pick. You know, and if he had a great offseason, potentially a late, you know, day one draft pick. Uh, he was impressive. You know, uh, he was one of the highest rated um, defensive, uh, pro defensive line prospects coming out of high school, you know, uh, he, he was very good, you know, at keeping, uh, linemen off of his body. I mean, he's, he's a powerful man, you know, um, he has a thick lower frame. So that shows you how strength, how strong he is and how it's hard for him, hard for guards and centers to move him off of his spot he can split double teams um and like i said he has the quickness he's not a pass rusher but he can bull rush due to his leverage and his quickness and his strength where he can put a little bit of pressure on uh the quarterback he can push the pocket forward a little bit you know uh he has active hands he can move he can move those hands um he can control the point of attack especially when he gets his hands in the right place and he can control the offensive line, man. I mean, he, he's ragdolled doll a, a few guys I've seen on tape. He's, you know, he reminds me far as when it comes to the run stop and he, he, he going to have a good person to learn from DJ reader mm -hmm. and just imagine him and DJ reader on that line at the same time. They go, whew, offensive line is going to have a hard time moving them boys. Because we know DJ Reader is one of the best run stoppers in the league. Now you're adding somebody that is a very good run stopper and very has a very good anchor. I mean, once he dropped that anchor, it's a wrap. You are not moving him back. And he gets low. He all, At times, if you watch the video, he would drop down to his knee. <laughs> he would drop down to one knee and it's just like, it's over. It's done. I don't care how hard the offensive lineman push. I don't care how uh, uh, how much help he has. Once he dropped that leg and that knee almost that knee is on that ground, it's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. You are not pushing him out of the way. And this is why it's uh, it's important to get somebody like him because when D we seen when DJ Reader went out last year, people were having a fields day running on us. They were having, they was like, hey, we ain't been a good rushing team all year, but we're about to play the uh, the Bengals and they ain't got DJ Reader. 
<laughs> so we about to have a career high in Russian. Hey, let's go and get it done. But he has good leverage. He's strong. He's got good short area quickness. He has strong hands and he can control his, his blockers. And like I said, he reminds me of Sam Adams. Now, what it ain't, he can, he's really going to be a two down player until he, because he, he needs to get his weight under control. His weight has fluctuated. You know, I think, I believe at one point he was like 380, you know, at LSU, 390. And you have to really keep an eye on that. We have to be concerned about that. Um, mm -hmm. He played limited snaps. You know, he's not going to be a player that can be out on the field a long time. So that would scare me if teams try to um, uh, run a no huddle because it'll wear him down real quick. Um, he doesn't have a huge tackle radius as well because he doesn't have the the, the lateral agility to consistently um, play down the field. Now, he'll surprise you sometimes, you know. Um, and he doesn't, I mean, he as good as his hands are, you know, as far as uh, keeping linemen at bay and, and, and knowing where to place his hands, he doesn't have a rush plan, you know. And those are things that can be developed. I don't know if he will ever be a pass rusher. I mean, he may be a guy that can give you a sack and a half, two, mm -hmm. three sacks, you know, at most. Um, but I think where his value come in, if it has to do with anything with pass rushing, is him being able to push the pocket, you know, get the quarterback uncomfortable because he's pushing the lineman back. Um, but the main concern with him is his weight. Um, if he can drop from 350 to like 330, 335, it's, it's, I think that would help his lateral agility and it'll help his conditioning. Um, I believe he will be a little quicker than, and he's already quick for his size. He's athletic for his size, you know, but I believe this was another steal. So what it looked like, it looks like he's going to be booting uh, some players off our team. <laughs> I think, um, the opt out, I, I forgot the guy's name. It's, it just slipped my mind that quick. Um, Josh, uh, that he opted out last year. I believe that Shelvin is taking his spot. Um, I'm still really fascinated with Renell Wren. I, I believe that Renell Wren could be our fifth defensive tackle. Uh, but I believe. Shelvin will more than likely be the backup to DJ Reader. I believe Shelvin will probably be the third three tech if he makes the team. Uh, and the reason I'm, you know, enamored with uh, Rennell Wynn is because not only is he big, but he's explosive and athletic. He's just raw. But with Tyler Shelvin, Tyler Shelvin, big physical man, a, a man that, if DJ Reader has to get off the field, you know, for some rest, we will not have a drop off with uh, Tyler Shelvin in there. And then if it's a, a, a third and short situation, we can put him in there and we can put DJ Reader there and have solid anchors in the middle. You're not pushing that. So I believe that we got a steal. I believe that this was a, a, a excellent, a excellent pickup, and I believe this is why I believe that trade back with the the uh, New England Patriots. I believe we won that big time. I believe we won that trade big time. Tyler Shelvin is one of the reasons I believe that. And the next pick, I will be breaking down, which is probably my favorite pick of the whole draft just from an upside standpoint. But this is Divine Thought. Y'all be all right out there. Y'all be safe out there. Have a blessed week. This is Who Day Vision, and y'all have a blessed one. Peace out.